Hello reception, today we're going to be working on your feelings and emotions. So I want you to look at these two faces really carefully now. Let's have a really good look and I want you to think about how this person is feeling. Hmm. And how do you know that that person is feeling like that? Have a look at their expression. What are their eyes doing? What's their mouth doing? How do you think this person is feeling? Now we're going to look at the next person. Look at their face. How do you think this person is feeling? And if you look carefully, there is something right over here coming down from their eyes. And look at how their mouth is looking in this picture. How do you think this person is feeling? Now we have lots of different emotions. So I'm going to show you all of the different people you can see here. They're all feeling different. And if you look below each person, there is a word to describe how they are feeling. And if you are really, really good at this, you can sound out those words and work out how the person is feeling. Now, the first person is feeling scared, scared. And if you look at his face, wow, what is his mouth doing? How do you know that this person is scared? We'll move on to the next person. And I hope that you are all feeling like this. This word is happy. Oh, the next face has lots and lots of tears. This person is feeling really quite sad. And then moving on to our last person. Oh, Goodness me, she is feeling angry. So we can see here, there are four different feelings. Scared, happy, sad, and angry. I'm wondering if you can try to show whoever is helping you your scared face. Now let's try your happy face and your sad face, and finally your angry face. And remember, if you're not sure what your face should be doing, have a look at the characters on the screen. And you can even use your mirror in front of you to help just to check that you are pulling the correct expression. Right now, moving on, I have a picture here for you of a young girl and I want to know how does this girl feel? Now if you're not sure you can go back to those other pictures to see if you can pick the correct emotion. Now I want you to think about why she might be feeling like this. Oh and the last question is what makes you feel happy? So what reason do you think that she feels like this? So think really carefully. Is there something that would make you smile like this? Oh, have a think. What makes you feel happy? Is it somebody that makes you feel happy? Or is it something that makes you feel happy? Maybe it's both. Maybe you have somebody in your life who makes you feel really happy. And maybe you have something in your life that also makes you feel really happy. Different expression on his face. It's not the same as the girl. How do you think this boy feels? Oh, he's looking at something there. And something's maybe making him feel this way. What do you think would make him feel this way? Now, this boy is feeling very sad. Why do you think he might be feeling sad? Hmm.
Think of a time when you felt sad. What was it that made you feel sad? Now, I have another picture of another girl here. And I want to know how you think this girl feels. And I wonder why she feels like this. And maybe if you look in the background, there might be some clues to why she's feeling like this. I want you to have a look at her. And I also want to show you something. So I'm going to just go right in. You can see she's got a nice big smile there, hasn't she? Now, but she's not showing lots and lots of teeth. Because when we smile, you can show your teeth. But sometimes, if you don't want to, you don't have to. But this still shows that she is happy. And then I want you to really think hard. Can you think of another word? For happy. So that means the same thing but is a different word. Now here's a picture of a baby boy and I'm wondering if you can guess how this boy is feeling. Why do you think he is feeling this way? And have you ever felt this way. Have you ever felt really sad? And if I go in really close to him, you can see he hasn't got any tears in his eyes because even though sometimes when we are sad, we cry, sometimes when we are sad, we do not cry. But our face still shows an expression of sadness. So, can you tell the person who is helping you a time when you have felt sad? Maybe it's a time when you were at home and you felt a bit sad. Maybe it's a time when you were at school and you felt sad. Now, we're moving on to somebody else. And you can see her expression here. She is not happy or sad. She has a different expression. I wonder if you know how this girl is feeling. Or oh, have you ever had an expression like this? What has caused you to have this expression? Why would you feel like this? What would make you feel angry. What would make you feel angry? And can you think of another word for angry? So something else that means the same as angry that would describe this girl's face. Right now we have a different emotion. So I want you to have a look really carefully with this emotion you can see lots in this person's eyes to show how this girl feels so looking at her really carefully how do you think that she is feeling what do you think has caused her to feel like this and is there anything that has made you feel scared have you ever felt scared at home? Have you ever felt scared in school? Or has anything made you scared? What things are you scared of? Now we're moving on to somebody else. This is another little girl and you can see she's sitting outside somewhere. But even though she's outside, and it's a sunny day, how do you think she's feeling? Have a look closely at her face. Why do you think she feels like this? What is another word for sad? Can you think of another word for sad? Have you ever been outside and felt sad before? What caused you to feel sad? Now, this is our final person. Now, this is a baby boy. And how do you think this baby boy is feeling? Have a look at his face. Oh, look at what his mouth is doing. Oh, and you can also see his teeth. How 
do you think he feels? And have a look in the background and have a look at what he's holding on to and what do you think might be making him feel like this? What makes you feel happy like this? I'm just going to go in closer so that you can see what might be behind him and where he might be that's making him feel so happy. So today we have been looking at all of these different emotions, scared, happy, sad and angry. I wonder if there are any other emotions that you feel. Oh, I wonder, have you ever felt a different way? Hmm, maybe close your eyes and have a think of all the feelings that you have had. What about when you had your first day in reception? How did you feel? What about when we went into lockdown? How did that make you feel? And how are you feeling at home right now? Now, I would like you to draw and label a scared face, a happy face, a sad face and an angry face. And if you're not sure how to write these words, please have a look now. So I'll go very slowly. And if you would like, you can pause the video and then you will be able to see. Right, reception. Now, what you need to do is you need to find your sheet like this that was put on um, our school website and you need to make sure your mum or your dad or whoever's helping you has printed it off. And here it is there. And now what we're going to do is, using our emotions, we are going to think about what a happy face looks like. So this space here... I want you to pretend that that is your face. So you are going to draw on your eyes and your nose and your mouth. Okay, and now because it is a happy face, I want you to think about what a happy face would look like. So you can draw your happy face showing your teeth or if you don't want to show your teeth, that's absolutely fine. You can just draw a smile. And then in here, these are the thought bubbles. So you are going to be thinking about the three things that make you happy. So once you've done your happy face here, I want you to think about three things that make you happy. It can be anything that you like. It might be something that you like to eat. It might be something that you like to drink. It could be a person in your life that makes you happy or it could be something else and then you're going to draw that thing in the thought bubble so the first thing that I've drawn in my thought bubble is an ice cream because I really like ice cream and ice cream does make me happy it makes me want to smile so I have drawn ice cream and now I have labelled my ice cream over there, just using my phonics. And now I'm going to think about something else. So you could think about, mm, I might draw in there one of my friends because my friends make me happy. Mm, I might draw me and my friends having a hug because that makes me ha happy, having a hug. Or I might draw my dog. My dog makes me very happy or anything else, so it could be somebody, something, maybe you eat something, maybe your mum or your dad cooks you something and it always makes you smile. So whatever it is that makes you happy and feel really good, that's what you are going to draw in your thought bubbles. And then when you've finished that and you've drawn your face in, I would like you to color everything in. And then when all of that is all complete. I would love it if you would send 
an email of your beautiful work that you have worked so hard to do so that I can see it and how amazing it is. Maybe you might have some of the same things as Miss Hazel. Maybe you might have some friends as well who make you happy. Maybe you've got a pet who makes you really happy. Whatever it is, I would like you to fill all of these out. And remember, if you're not sure, have a think. Maybe it's something in your house that makes you happy or a special toy. Now, this is the end of our lesson. So I'm hoping that you are all happy. And I will hopefully see you again very soon.